Quality Signs and Designs, 775-537-5575. Well, they actually suck the juice out of the needles primarily because they're most uh, often, uh, they're found on plants in the conifer varieties, which would be like Italian cypress, junipers, uh, arborvita, mm -hmm. uh, any of those things that form a cone and have more of a little spine rather than a, a broad leaf. The, those are what the spider mites are attracted to. And they also like to breed in dust. So when you get a dust coating on those plants, they love to get in there and breed. And when they, they get big populations built up, they suck all the juice out of those needles and then they lose their nice green color mm -hmm. and they turn kind of a grayish yeah. dull color. And then after that, they turn kind of a, uh, a bronzish brown color and that's when they've actually kind of killed the plant. You have to spray them with a miticide. It has to be a miticide. They're different than insects. Insects have six legs, mites or spiders, which are uh, mites are spiders. They have eight legs and they are different uh, chemicals that will kill those different things. So you want to make sure that you have uh, you use something that lists spider mites on the label. And those th products that are miticides that will kill mites, you can find them in different products. One of the better ones is malathion. It's a very good miticide and also kills other insects and spiders as well. So it's a good all around, uh, good general purpose uh, uh, insecticide and miticide. And that you want to use... Uh, at least two or three times at about five to seven day intervals. That way you can break the life cycle of the uh, mites because they have a very short lifespan. So you can kill the adults with the first spray, but any eggs that they have left, um, they won't hatch out for about five to seven days. And then you'll have to spray those in order to kill them. So you want to make sure and spray at least twice and maybe three times at about five to seven day intervals to make sure you break that life cycle so that they are completely eradicated. And then you may have to do it later on in the hotter months because they may come back. They can travel through the air. Wind carries them. They're very, very tiny. Other um, insects and birds carry them. Uh, or people can carry them, even brushing against things and get the mites on them, and then they could carry them and pass them on to other plants. Wow.